what is that gap between having the potential and taking the action? It's an important question. Something I've spent a lot of time thinking about. One of the most deceiving concepts in the world is the concept of potential. Potential, right? You hear people talk about this. Oh, you have so much potential. There's so much potential in you. There's so much potential in her. Potential basically is worthless. It's, it's, not, it's, it's not that it isn't something that is inspiring or that it could be good. It's that potential in and of itself is worthless. What potential means is greatness not yet experienced. What potential means is there's so much more that could be that is not yet so. So potential is hard because sometimes people get rewarded for their potential. You don't deserve to get rewarded for your potential. And by the way, you do have a lot of potential. Everybody has a lot of potential. It's not, you're not special if you have a lot of potential. Every human on the planet has a lot of potential. That isn't what makes you, that isn't what makes you valuable. The fact that you could do great things. What makes you, what makes you valuable, what makes you worthy of, of admiration and praise and respect is what you actually freaking do. It's the results that you provide. It's the action that you take. And the, the, the challenge is that for a lot of times, we struggle, those of us with a lot of potential, right? We struggle between believing, like be between the moment we go, okay, I have potential, and then taking action, there's this gap, there's this gap in between what I theoretically am, am capable of and what I actually do. And what is that gap in there? Why is there that gap? What, what is that kind of mysterious force or emptiness that, that continues to separate us and withhold us and restrain us from becoming everything we can become, from doing everything that we are capable of doing, from, from making the impact that we are capable of, of, of making. What is that gap between having the potential and taking the action? It's an important question. It's something I've spent a lot of time thinking about. In fact, it's something I've spent a lot of time wrestling with in my own life. Obviously, it's something that we have spent a lot of time coaching people through uh, over the course of our career. And here's what I've realized. It doesn't matter what you're capable of. What matters is what you believe you're capable of. It does not matter what you're capable of. It matters what you believe you're capable of. See, you're capable of incredible, extraordinary things. I mean, the, the human body is extraordinary. Uh, one of my friends, Navy SEAL Joe, used to tell me this all the time, and I love this. He used to say, Rory, the human, the, 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 the body can take damn near anything. It's the mind that needs conditioning. The body can take damn near anything. It's the mind that needs conditioning. You are capable. You are powerful. You were born for greatness. You have magic inside of you. You are just like every other human who has changed the world. There are humans who have invented things, who have accomplished extraordinary physical feats, who have made impact with, with charity and, and uh, with thought, and people who have shaped the world, people who have provided extraordinary entertainment in a variety of ways. All of those people are human people just like you. You, you, the difference is you might not yet think that you're capable of doing what they did. You actually believe in your brain that somehow other people have something that you don't have. You believe that that somehow there is something missing from you or your life that other people have or other people have figured out that you haven't figured out. And I actually would say that they have probably figured out something you haven't figured out, but I would not say that they have something that you don't have. I would say that all of us 
have potential. All of us have extraordinary capability. I believe that we were designed and created for extraordinary things. Why else are we here? I mean, what else are we freaking doing every day? If we're not here to do something magnificent and meaningful and to serve the world and the people around us, are we, otherwise we're just aimlessly wandering through this like life of mediocrity doing nothing. So what is it though that they have figured out that you haven't? They have figured out how to believe that they are capable of it. They have figured out how to believe that their potential is real. Not just that they have it. It doesn't matter what you're capable of. It matters what you believe you are capable of. Well, how do you do that? How do you change your belief system about what you're capable of? It's so simple. You have to just tell yourself that you're capable of it. The human mind is a computer. And by the way, in uh, the Take the Stairs book, in my very first book, there's a chapter called The Creation Principle of Integrity that walks you through this in detail. We also, also talk about this at our Conquering Impossible Goals event. Um, if you go to RoryVaden.com forward slash CIG, you can read about this event where I personally facilitate you through this process. But what you have to understand is the human brain is a computer. You don't believe what is true, you believe whatever you're told most often. Just like a computer, it doesn't do what is right, it doesn't do what is true, it just does whatever it's programmed to do. Your brain is programmable. And whatever you program in your brain is what will become true in your life. If you don't believe you're capable of it, you, you won't actually take the actions that are necessary to demonstrate that you are capable of it. But if you believe that you are capable of it, then you will take the actions that demonstrate that you believe that you're capable of it. But to shape your beliefs, all you have to do is reinforce your programming. Anytime you want to reshape your beliefs, you just have to reinforce your programming. You have to repeat over and over what you want to believe to be true. And as you do it, as you believe it to be true, you will then live according to that truth and results will show up according to that programming. Just like the output of a computer is whatever it's programmed to do. So is your life, so is you, so is your brain, so is your belief system. But it does not matter what you're capable of. It matters what you believe you are capable of. Most of us don't need to spend more time being reminded that we have potential. We have to spend more time believing that that potential is real. We have to spend more time believing that we're capable of it. We have to remind ourselves and program ourselves of, of what is possible. And then as we do that, we will begin to take the actions that are necessary to where that capability and that potential becomes reality.